I polled hundreds of fans across the Terraria fan base on some of the hardest questions in Terraria, like what's a weapon you'd typically use to kill the Eye of Cthulhu? And which minion would taste the best? And now I've taken eight of Terraria's biggest content creators, split them into two teams to see who knows the Terraria community the best. So they'll be playing for a huge cash prize and the honor and pride of the Terraria community. This is the Terraria Creators Family Feud. All right, for the very first time, the Terraria Family Feud is now getting started. Woo, woo, the Wall of Fresh versus the Crimson Knights. Can I get one person from each team? First up, can I have Waffle and Adrian? Damn. Hey. Starting out the gate with the friendship that goes on for years, we've got these two friends head to head. Very first question. Which weapon do you usually use to kill the Eye of Cthulhu? Oh, first buzz in, Adrian. Adrian, give me what you got. Uh, I'm thinking Platinum Bow? Platinum Bow. Strange answer. But it was the number one result! Congrats oh! to Adrian! Oh! <laughs> oh! All right. So, Adrian, do you guys want to play or do you guys want to pass? Uh, I think we're going to play. Okay, we're going to play. So we'll toss it over to the Crimson Knights. Now you guys are going to try and clear the entire board, get all six answers. Can we have Gunganir? Give me a guess. I'm thinking musket here. It's got to be musket. Musket! Yeah! Good answer, good answer, but was it good enough? That is the number three answer. Congrats to you. All right, after that, let's go over to Boyo Boyo. Jesus, this one's hard. There was this one Euromir video, this one OG back in Terraria. Mm -hmm. So I'm saying shurikens. This guy beat it with shurikens. And you're sure about that? I'm sure about that. Okay, let's see if shuriken is on the board. Show me shurikens. <laughs> Unfortunately, shurikens is not on the board. I'm sorry, Boyo. Next up, we got Get Good. How you doing? Give me an answer. What do you got? So uh, I've been analyzing with a lot of speedrunners and such. And actually, I'm, I'm actually surprised that this weapon isn't on the number one. Okay. It's actually Star Fury. Star Fury. Let's see. Is Star Fury up there? Bing. Ooh, Ooh, the number five answer. And with that, it gets tossed back over to Adrian. How much time do I have, Chief? I'll give you 15 seconds. All right. Boo -doo 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 -doo. Hurry, 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 hurry. Uh, grenades. <laughs> grenades. Oh. Okay. Good answer, but was it good enough to be on the board? Ah. Eh, unfortunately not. Grenades ah. is not up there, I'm sorry to say. Back over to Gunganir. I'm going to say Boomstick here. Boomstick. Ah. Eh, unfortunately, oh. Boomstick was not on the board either. I'm sorry to say. Now it goes over to the Wall of Fresh. They have been talking this whole time. They can try and go for the steal here. Chaos, what you got for me? We are gonna go with the mini shark. The mini shark, interesting answer. But is it enough for the steal? Ooh. What? Let's go. Sorry to the Crimson Knights. The Wall of Fresh has gotten the steal there with the number two answer. Does anybody have any guesses about what the four or six answer would be? Undertaker. You've been, yeah, thinking Undertaker or Enchanted Boomerang. Enchanted yeah. Boomerang is number four. And this may call into question the legitimacy of this survey, but number six was the wooden bow. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Hardcore. <laughs> Whoa. All right. There we go with the incredible steal. All right. Now, question number two. Give me Chaos. Give me Gunganir. All right. Which NPC is most likely to cheat? on their significant other. First in, we had Chaos. Chaos, what you got? The arms dealer. The arms dealer. That was the number one answer. Congrats <laughs> to you, Chaos. Chaos, would you like to play or would you like to pass? We're going to play. Okay, let's play. Going over to the wall of fresh. Mars. <laughs> because they won't be able to guess it. We'll strike out. They won't guess it'll be fine. All right, Mars, what do you got for me? All right, I'm going to go with the, the nurse. The nurse? Yeah, the nurse. That is the number two yes. answer. Congrats hey. to you. Okay, let's go over to Beaverack. Beaver, what you got for me? I'm going to have to say the merchant. The merchant? And unfortunately, that is your first X. Merchant is not on the board. It gets tossed over to Waffle. Waffle, what you got? Show me the party girl, Steve. Party girl. All right. Is it up there? Ooh, the number four <laughs> answer. Nice, nice. All right. It's back over to Chaos again. Chaos, what you got? We're going to go with the Dryad, I think. The Dryad. Okay. Eh, unfortunately, Dryad Ooh, is not up on the board. <laughs> gets tossed over to Mars. Mars, this is do or die. Two strikes on the board. You either get this or it gets tossed back 
over to the Crimson uh, Knights. Ooh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with the princess. The princess. This, this might have been a bad one, but yeah. And unfortunately, not. Uh. I'm sorry to say. <laughs> All right. It goes over to the Crimson Knights. Crimson Knights, let's go to Boyo Boyo. What do you have for the steal? We're going to go with the mechanic. Mechanic? Cheating on her dear goblin. Okay. An interesting answer, but is it enough for the steal? Unfortunately, it is not. That is an incorrect answer, I'm sorry to say. Ooh. So, Wall of Fresh keeps the points, cementing their lead even further. The number three answer was the guy, and the number five answer was the tax collector. What? <laughs> he wouldn't even have a spe- Who is the tax collector <laughs> banging, dude? All right. Wall of Fresh in a large lead. Round three, let's get Mars and Boyo Boyo. Up to the bat, both of you. Which minion would taste the best? All right, we got Mars. We got Mars. I'm going to go with the fire imp. The fire imp. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting answer. I feel like it's just pretty common. Uh, unfortunately, fire imp is not up there, I am sorry to say. Now it goes over to Boyo Boyo. Boyo Boyo, do you have a guess? Yeah, I'm going to say the, uh, the slimes from the slime staff. The slime from the slime staff, as long as it's on the board, he gets the points. And that is the number two answer. Easy. Congrats to you, Boyo. Do you guys want to play or do you guys want to pass? We'll play. We'll play. We'll play. Okay. All right. Let's see if Crimson Knights can get those points back. Let's go over to get good. Get good. What do you got for me? This is community based, right? The answer is within the community. The community is Correct, the one who's answering yes. this, right? Since it's community based, I'm going with the Stardust Dragon stuff. Stardust Dragon. <laughs> okay. This is a wrong answer, but since it's community based, everyone's <laughs> wrong here. So yeah. All right, let's go. And that was the number five answer. Get Good's flawless technique. Let's go back over to Adrian. Adrian, what you got? I'm going to go with Vampire Frog staff. Vampire Frog? Is it on the board? Number four answer. All right, let's go back over to Gunganir. Gunganir, what you got? I'm thinking the Finch. The Finch staff. Very interesting. And interesting enough to be the top answer. Congrats to you, Gunganir. Incredible steal. Could they clear the board here? The Crimson Knights going back over to Boyo. What you got? I was going to say Finch Staff, but uh, my idea was taken. So I'm going to go with the... Uh... No, I'm going to go for Flink Staff. I think the Flinks would be pretty yummy, bro. It just looks like a marshmallow. I'd eat it. Flink Staff. Okay, interesting answer. But is it up there? The number three Ooh. answer. The Crimson Knights. Three X's left. Three chances. Can they do this back over to get good? Oh, oh no. Oh no, this is the last one. Um, this is always the wild card. I'm just going to go with Sanguine Bat stuff. I I, don't, I completely have no idea. Sanguine Staff is not up there. Again, toss back over to Adrian. This is always the wild card. The hardest one, Adrian. Adrian, check chat. I'm not going to look at chat. <laughs> I don't think it's the spider staff because I don't think anyone's going to eat spiders. Okay. I'm going to say the spider staff. The spider staff... Unfortunately, that is also not up there. Tossed over to Gunganir. Their huge lead lost. This is do Ooh. or die, Gung. What you got for me? I think in the same vein with the Finch, I'm going to go Raven Staff. And I am sorry to say that is it for the Crimson Knights getting tossed oh. back over to the Wall Damn. of Fresh. Wall of Fresh. Beaverack, give me the steal. What you got? Okay, we're going to go with the Stardust Cell Staff. Ooh. Now, why the Stardust Cell Staff? Because the dragon's right there. I don't know. They look like gumdrops. <laughs> okay, interesting answer. And it paid off for the no! steal. No way! Yes, <laughs> All right. Round number four. Wall of Fresh has taken a huge lead. But there's still time for the Crimson Knights to come on back. Give me Beaverack. Give me Get Good. Question number four. Name a weapon that's overrated. <laughs> Oh, get good right before Beaver. Get what you got. It's Terra Blade. Terra Blade. Is it up there? Fortunately, it is the number yes. three answer. Yes. But because it's not the top answer, it gets tossed over to Beaver. Let's see if he can steal it and get the one or two answer. Beaver, do you have a guess? Oh, man, this is a tough one. I might go for a crazy gambit here and say Copper Short Sword. Copper? Oh, my God. That's just genius. Copper short sword. Interesting answer. 
Unfortunately, <laughs> Copper Short Sword is not up there. I am oh, sorry to say. Sorry guys. So it gets tossed to the Crimson Knights. Do you guys want to play or pass? Play, play, play. Play, play, play. Okay. All right, Adrian, answer number two. What you got for me? Um, I never actually get this weapon because I think it's too expensive. So I'm going to say Mini Shark, Sean. Mini Shark. Interesting answer. And it is right up there, Whoa! number four. Let's go. All right, Gung, what you got for me? Okay, overrated. I'm just going to go Influx Waver. If Terror Blade's on there, I'm thinking Influx has got to be. Influx Waver. Interesting answer. Eh, unfortunately, not up there, though. Oof. Not at the top of the Terraria community's mind these days. Let's go over to Boyo. Boyo? I'm thinking back in the day, the vampire knives were very, very hyped over. So I'm going to see the vampire knives. Genius answer. But unfortunately, the community did not agree, and oh. Vampire Knives is not up there. Great answer, though. Great answer. Respectable answer. Let's go over to Get Good. Get Good, two strikes on the board. Can you get this? So, there is, like, this meme. P people are, like, making a, a, what weapon is the most operated. I don't know if it's here or not, but... Quad barrel shotgun. It's, the, it's a meme. I don't know if people would actually answer this or not. The quad barrel shotgun. Interesting. Yeah. Unfortunately, not on the board. And with only two answers, it goes over to the wall of fresh. Can they get the steel? Give me waffle time. Waffle, do you have the steel? What you got? Meow mirror. We're gonna go with meow mirror. Meow mirror. Mm -hmm. Interesting answer. But unfortunately, it is not up there. What is the number one? Number one is Zenith. Zenith. Number God two. Damn it. Yeah. Oh, damn it. Oh, I know. Oh, number dude. two was it's the so Daedalus though. Stormbow. Oh my God. Oh, what? Oh my God. Oh, that's not, that's not good. <laughs> they just said the two best weapons in the game. I'm confused. Yeah, what? Well, the Zenith. Number five was the Mega Shark. And number six. Oh. After its okay. nerf, I guess, is the water bolt. We let them win. Gotta, gotta keep an even match. Keep it interesting. <laughs> All right. Now the fun. Crimson Knights have 29 points. <laughs> 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 so we've got three more questions. Three more questions for the Crimson Knights to try and come back. Back to the beginning. Give me Waffle and give me Adrian. Question number five. Which boss would you trust most? to babysit your child. Adrian, what you got? I'm saying Empress of Light, baby. Empress of Light was the top answer. Oh, no way. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, Adrian, do you guys want to play or pass? We're going to play, Chief. All right, Gunganir, what you got? Okay, I'm thinking King Slime. Couldn't, couldn't hurt a thing. It's got that ninja in him. I mean, I think it's got to be King Slime here. King Slime? He's unfortunately not up there, I'm sorry oh. to say. That means it gets tossed over to Boyo Boyo. Okay, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna go with the mix of the Empress of Light and the King Slime, so I'm hitting it with the Queen Slime. It probably couldn't hurt a thing. The Queen Slime, interesting. Okay, let's see if it's up there. Queen Slime, number three answer. Ooh, nice. Back over to Get Good, what you got? All right, so this is a wild guess, but this is community based like I was talking earlier. So it's gonna be the most popular boss, right? So it's gonna be Moon Lord. Moon Lord, most yeah. popular boss, going for his meme answer again. And unfortunately, it is not up there. That is your first strike, <sighs> I'm sorry to say. Or second strike, sorry. All right, back over to Adrian. Adrian, what you got? I'm thinking Ice Queen? Ice Queen. Okay, interesting. And unfortunately, not up there, <laughs> I am sorry to say. Over to the Wall of Fresh. Give me chaos. What you got? The Queen Bee. Queen Bee? And that was the number two oh. answer with the Steel Wall of Fresh leaping ahead of the Crimson Knights who are still sitting at a measly 29 points, unfortunately. <laughs> the other answers we had were Skeletron at answer number four, mm -hmm. I guess because of those hands. At number five, we've got Plantera, which I, I don't know about that one. And then number six, we had Golem. Interesting. I would not I have thought yeah. Golem. All right. Question number six. Give me Chaos. Give me Gungnir. What is the most important potion for fighting the Wall of Flesh? <laughs> Chaos right before what you got. I'm gonna say swiftness. Swiftness potion. Is it up on the board? Fortunately it is, but it is the number five answer. So it gets tossed back over to Gunganir. Gunganir, do you have the steel? Yeah, I'm thinking uh water walking. Water yeah. walking. Why do you think water walking? I think we're lazy and we don't want to build an arena, so we go we go water walking. Interesting strategy. That is the number four answer. Oh. Oh. 
<laughs> All right, Gunganir, we'll would you guys like to play or would you like to pass? I think we got to play here. All right, yeah, another round of play. We have to. All right, then it gets tossed over to Boyo. Boyo, what you got? I'm going to see Iron Skin. Iron Skin Potion, a classic, of course. And that's why it's the number one answer. Congrats, congrats, Boyo. Now it gets tossed over to Get Good. I'm going with healing. Healing potion. You know, you wouldn't think of it as a potion normally, but it is the number three answer. Congrats to you. Now it gets yep. tossed over to Adrian. Adrian, what you got? I'm going to say regen potion. Regeneration potion is unfortunately not up there. What? What? Okay, Gunganir, what you got? I'll try obsidian skin. Obsidian skin makes sense. It's fighting in hell, which is why it's the number two answer. Congrats nice. to the Crimson Knights. The comeback is real. Cleared the board. Why would you ever need that? Do you need obsidian skin? Why would you need <laughs> obsidian skin? You're not going into lava. All right, final round. It's unfortunately looking mighty grim for the Crimson Knights. And you know, normally it would be impossible for the Crimson Knights to come back for this. But the yep, game's rigged. Sure <laughs> the game's rigged. <laughs> but that's why we have entered question number seven, the double points round. Okay, let's go. All values will be double. There's still hope for the Crimson Knights to make the comeback of the century. Last up, give me Mars and give me Boyo Boyo. Which NPC would make the best roommate? Boyo, right before Mars, what you got? The nurse, the nurse, the nurse. The, the nurse, nurse bro. And the nurse is the number two answer. So unfortunately it goes to Mars if he can get the number one answer. Mars, what you got? Okay, I, I need a moment. Okay, you got five seconds. Make it six. Six seconds. <laughs> okay. Four, three. Uh, I'll go with the dryad. The dryad? I don't know, I don't know. It is the third answer, but not the top answer. So it gets tossed over to the Crimson Knights again. So boy, oh boy, would you guys like to play or would you like to pass? We have we'll to play, play, we have to play. play. Okay, they're gonna play, they're gonna play. All right, get good. What do you got? I gotta say, I'm going with party girl because she's like happy and all. Party girl? Yeah is the yeah. number four answer. Not that, not that. Only yeah, sure. three left to go. Back over to Adrian. Adrian, what you got? I don't want to say female, so I'm going to go with the guide. The guide? And lucky for you, that is the top answer. <laughs> All right, Gunganir, two left, five and six. You could win this for your team, or you could just be an embarrassment to them all. What you got for us? True. I'm thinking steampunk. Steampunker. Steam okay, just going down the list of female NPCs at yep. this point. But unfortunately, that tactic won't work this time. And <sighs> that is wrong. Sorry to say, Gunganir. But boy, oh boy, oh, back to you. I'm going to say the arms dealer. I mean, this guy would probably protect you, right? Seems, seems pretty smart. The arms dealer, okay? And unfortunately, that did not resonate people. People did not want to live with someone with a bunch of guns, I guess. So it gets passed back over to get good. Two strikes on the board, get good. You got to get this right or it's getting tossed back over to the wall fresh. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Mechanic. Mechanic. Going down the list of female NPCs, but was it the right one? And fortunately, that answer is incorrect. I'm sorry to say. So, wall of fresh. Let's see if you guys have the steel. Beaver Rack, do you have it? On, what Beaver. is your team's answer? Okay. We're going to go with the zoologist. The zoologist? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. This decides everything right here. This guess is do or die. Did they have it? You better have a lot of furries in your audience. <laughs> yeah. Please. Well, fortunately for you, Chaos, I do. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, my god. <laughs> oh what? I don't <laughs> Any guesses about what the number five answer was? Is a merchant? It is Goblin Tinkerer. It's a thing as hell. Why would you want to live with your worst enemy? <laughs> Alright, well, that is the end of the regular game. Wall of Fresh sitting at 508 points. Sorry to the Crimson Knights. Unfortunately, this crowns Wall of Fresh the champions of the Terraria Family Feud. That's $200 in your pocket. But the game is not over yet because we still have the fast money around now we're not playing for money it's just wall of fresh
plain for Twitter profile photos for our dear Crimson Knights. I procured four that I'll show again. First, we've got uh, that is the creator of Terraria with a bunch of throw up emojis next to it. This is a personal favorite of mine. Love slurping trout. Uh, <laughs> then we've got number four, Miners Rock. <laughs> and then the last one, perhaps the best one of all, photo of the yummy. Dryad's feet that just says, <laughs> yummy. Okay, so, Wall of Fresh, you guys have to send two people into the fast money round. When the first person goes, the other person you guys have chosen will deafen, and they won't hear any of their answers, and then they're going to try and go through five quick questions and try and get the answer to all of them. If you can get a total higher than 200 points, then you will win the gambit of the Twitter profile photos. So, Wall of Fresh, who are the two people you want to send in? Mars wants to do one, so I would say reward initiative. Who's our lovely second? I can be the second if you guys want. Okay. All right. So, Beaver, I'm going to ask you to deafen real quick so that you can't hear any of Mars's answers. All right, Mars. Five quick questions. 60 seconds on the clock. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Are you nervous? How are you feeling going into this? I'm scared. I feel like my life's on the line here. It kind of is. If you blow this, you will kind of ruin it for your whole team. Yeah. Yeah, it's over. I, I have to leave the Terraria community forever. I'll be banished. <laughs> 60 seconds on the clock. Let's do this. Three two, one. Name an item you wish you could use but never have been able to get. The Rod of Discord. Rod of Discord. All right. Name the enemy you'd most like to receive a back massage from. <laughs> Skeletron. Skeletron. What's the most important accessory to have in hard mode? Running shoes. I, I guess it would go like... Uh, do I have to name specific ones? What's your answer? Uh, Herbie's boots. Okay, we'll accept for that. Name the NPC who has the least of your money. They must sell something. The cyborg. The cyborg, okay. And final question, 20 seconds on the clock. Name the best wood. Uh, regular wood. Regular. Regular old wood. I like the answer. But did the audience... First answer, the question was, name an item you wish you could use but have never been able to get. You answered the Rod of Discord which is the top answer at 61 points. Let's get it. Number two, you said name an enemy you'd most like to receive a back massage from. <laughs> you oh, answered no. Skeletron, which believe it or not is the top answer at 34 <laughs> points. <gasps> Question number three, you said what is the most important accessory to have in hard mode? You answered boots which is the number two answer, 17 points. Fourth question, name the NPC who has the least of your money. You answered the cyborg, which is the sixth answer at 15 points. Not bad. And last question, you said name the best wood. You answered regular wood. And unfortunately, that is not up on the board. That leaves your total pretty high, though. You got some good ones. You got 127 points. Now we just need Beaverack to come in. And if he can just get 73 points. Okay, Beaver, are you back with us? I'm back. Good luck, Beaver. All right. You've got 60 seconds, five questions. All you need to get is 73 points for the prize. Do you think you have this? Uh, that sounds easy, I think, right? It's up to you. All right. And if you answer a question with the same answer Mars already gave, I'll give you a buzz and you'll have to give a different answer. Three, two, one. Name an item you wish you could use but have never been able to get. Uh, the Zenith. Name the enemy you'd most like to receive a back massage from. Uh, a green slime. Green slime. What's the most important accessory to have in hard mode? Lightning boots. Lightning, eh, different one. Uh, wings. Wings. Name the NPC who has the least of your money. They must sell something. Merchant. Okay, merchant. Name the best wood. For real. For real wood. Okay. That was great work. You had six seconds left, Beaver Rack. I heard some pretty good answers, but were they good? Question number one, you said the Zenith, which was up there with 16 points. Okay, we'll take that. Climbing very slowly. Question two, name the enemy you'd most like to receive a back massage from. You said slime, which is the number three answer at 22 points. Okay. Great stuff. What is the most important accessory to have in hard mode? You said wings. Which was the top answer at 67 points? Question four, name the NPC who has the least of your money. You said merchant, which is unfortunately not up there, I'm sorry to say. Question number five, name the best wood. You said burial, which was the top answer, yep. putting you at 76 points. Let's go. Big, big ups to you. That is a victory for the wall of fresh on the fast money ground thank you guys for doing that you guys killed it you hit 308 points and now i guess you get to decide 
who has each of these sweet, sweet profile photos? <laughs> but I'll leave that to you all afresh, whatever you want to decide with. But that is the end of the Terraria family feud. Thank you guys all so much for being a part of this. I really appreciate it. I know it was a lot for you guys to do, a lot of elements to set up and stuff. So I really appreciate you guys coming out and making the time. It was super fun. Thank you for doing it. Thank you, Sean. Thank you for having us, man. <laughs>